Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to a new video. Today we are on the Velar and I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust the trucks. So right now I am on the standard setup. That's pretty much how we ship it out of the box. So on the front trucks, the bushings are set up on the inside, as you can see here. And on the back, they are on the outside for more stability. It's something in between right now, I would say. It's great to carve. You won't be afraid to go to go fast, in my opinion. It, it's it's perfect. It's not too carvy and not too stiff. So I think it this will be good for a lot of people just right out of the box. That, that was pretty much the idea with this setup. So I'll show you a bit of carving now, just for you to see. But yeah, the front truck, it's just it's just more loose, and you can definitely feel and, and, and see that right here. But you, you're still pretty nimble with this, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, definitely nimble. And now I'm gonna change to the Carvia setup. So first I have to unscrew these screws and please keep in mind, this is a prototype right here, so a couple of details can be different. The motors will be bigger and the screws are going to be different, black and the bushings, black as well. It's just a couple of details. And these screws I right here, here I can adjust the bushings. So even, you can make it even stiffer. Gap gets bigger and bigger. So these you have to take out on both sides, as well as these screws right here. Take them out. And now, since we changed to the Carvia setup, I simply have to push the bushings to the inside. Same on the other side. Right now, we are definitely on the Carvia setup there is. <laughs> this is insane. It's almost too carvy for me, uh, at least for my taste. I think it's even more carvier than, than, than the Challenger with the short wheelbase and double kingpin. This is too much. I just think it's so cool that you can adjust everything like you want. But with this setup, <laughs> it's almost too much for me. Since I did a lot of curves here, this, this usually gives a little bit of a measurement how tight this turn really is. As you can see, it's, it's crazy. It's literally crazy. Carvia setup. And we are going to change it now to the stiffest. I will skip T. I just changed the setup on both trucks. So both bushings are on the outside now and these screws I didn't fully, you know, tied up um, because it would be too stiff. I mean, it already is. I think it's still rideable. Ugh. Too stiff for me. I think I will try to loose it up even a bit more. Uh, let me see if that's possible. Just a little bit. I think could almost take these screws out actually. That's gonna be too stiff for me, but it can be even stiffer. So for really heavy people, this is gonna be a great truck. I feel like I can definitely go fast now. I feel comfortable to go fast. That's a cool thing now. But I'm definitely not even getting around this unless I really lean into it. Damn, didn't think that was possible. <laughs> Yeah, damn, it's actually not bad. I think I will try this setup a bit more. Especially when you go fast, it, it, it kind of feels good. I like it. It's not too bad. It just really feels stable. There's a car behind me anyway. Oof, oh my God, that's insanely stable. I'm still freaking out when I go fast though, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good. Yeah, that is probably the most stable setup I've ever tried. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you enjoyed and let me know if you want to know anything else about this board. Leave a comment below. <laughs> See you guys, bye-bye.